Welcome YouTube to another video on Atlanta to Dallas Aviation. And today I just have one uh, model to show you. I, I actually wasn't expecting to get it uh, before the end of the weekend. So uh, it was a pleasant surprise and uh, and it's kind of one I've been wanting. Um, it's a classic livery and a semi-classic uh, iconic airplane uh, for the airline that is for. Um, and just to let you know that uh, it wasn't the only thing I ordered. So um, a lot of times you'll see some people maybe do an unboxing of one or two airplanes and if you if you buy models yourself, you know that if you only buy that many, uh, it's likely you paid shipping, uh, unless of course you order from a place that doesn't offer free shipping at all. Um, so I did order uh, my team at work a uh, a model. Uh, it's all it's the same model for everybody, but I got six of them, so I had plenty of models to get my free shipping but I'm only going to show you this one because just in case any of my team members actually watch my videos I don't want them to know what I got uh, so uh, we will hold off on that um, it, I, it is actually something I could compare to the um, NG models version of it um, but that will be for a later date uh, when I'm getting closer to giving those uh, to my teammates. Uh, I will probably, uh, well, I will inspect them all, but I will probably use one for uh, maybe a comparison video uh, uh, should I feel like doing that. So anyway. Uh, moving rapidly along, sorry, I wasted uh, almost two and a half minutes already on that. Um, so let's get to the model that I have to show you today. And today's model is from JC Wings. And it's this United 747-400 in the Saul Bass livery. Uh, let's see, this... Uh, this item number from JC Wings is X-Ray X-Ray 40087 and there is a uh, flaps down version of it so it would be the same item number but with an A at the end so the flaps down version is X-Ray X-Ray 40087 Alpha uh, but I got the uh, flaps up so uh, this uh, aircraft is uh, its registration is November 183 Uniform Alpha. And let's get into it before I share any more information about it. And boom. Here it is. I'll do just kind of a sort of a close-up there before we do the 360 so you can get a a little bit of a view there it should be a pretty good view on your much bigger screen all right and then we'll bring the box back in for the 360 back some stuff up here all right We'll do our quick 360 here. Eh, I forgot to wear my glove to handle my the model with. You really should, uh, especially if you're more of a collector than just someone who gets these to do model airports, I would say 
uh, definitely handle these with with gloves on um, especially if you get uh, models that are the um, like chrome or have some chrome on them because you don't want to get uh, your fingerprints and stuff all over them and not only that but uh, um, getting the oils uh, from your hand on on your model and on the finish of the model um, it, I think it's it's a, an acceptable thing to say that um, it's probably not good for the finish on your models so if you collect models uh, as as a collector uh, handle your models with uh, like rubber gloves on or whatever um, don't let them get don't let them get that bodily oil uh, on them and potentially down the line ruin the finish but anyway so almost done with the 360 here on this beautiful saw bass livery um, I'm not I'm not completely sure how long um, 747 400 got to wear the saw bass um, but I know for sure that it saw battleship gray and it saw a blue tulip um, I'm not sure but like I said I'm not sure how long it actually wore uh, saw bass livery but anyway all right so there's the 360 so some additional information on this unfortunately I wasn't I couldn't find anything that even remotely gave me an idea of what the configuration of the seats were on the inside um, I, I know these would have been used for international travel so I don't know if it was if it was decked out in three classes or if it started off with two classes and then went to three classes or or what so unfortunately I don't have the configuration of any kind at any time of of it being in service so um, I can't share that with you uh, what I can share so uh, this airframe was first delivered to United in April of 1992 uh, until it moved on to French operator Corsair um, it is no longer active as a matter of fact it, it it has been broken up and it was broken up I didn't write this down but I believe it was broken up in 2015 is what it said uh, and it was broken up at uh, GBA uh, also known as Cotswold in Great Britain and it was approximately 23 and a half years old uh, when that happened uh, and the power plants it's four Pratt and Whitney 4056s 40s 56s so we will get a really close well, not really close because it will it will be a putz and get all fuzzy on me if I try to get too close. All right, that's probably about as close as I'm going to get. All right, so this saw bass has, um, as all saw bass does on the cheat line, it's orange, red, and blue. Um, at some point. Uh, sometimes d depending on when uh, sometimes the orange line is what's at the window level and sometimes it's the red line um, so I think when it's the orange line the United titles that you see here the United titles are larger um, but this would be a smaller title one because the red part is where the window line is so the classic orange red and blue um, 
cheat line all the way to the back and you got your extended upstairs that you have on on the 400 compared to the classic um, we have really good uh, cockpit window placement here uh, the L1 door and the L2 door which is where the boarding usually um, begins if there's just one jet bridge if there's two jet bridges uh, it does L1 and, and L2 typically uh, so moving on back you have your smaller uh, United Tulip here in the blue and red and then the uh, scripted United here uh, starting right above the L2 door and moving back uh, you got your port side Pratt & Whitney 4056's here on this side your L3 door L4 door and there's the wing the winglet here and just behind the winglet I'll angle this so you can see the there we go uh, you got the American flag there and then the uh, registration November 183 you uh, uniform alpha and then your L5 door right there and then moving back you can see the cheat line ending just slightly aft of the horizontal stabilizer and then the beautiful big United Tulip there on uh, on the vertical stabilizer all right so that will end our video for today I hope you enjoyed and if you did please consider leaving a like and or subscribing to the channel and uh, until the next video happy collecting